Here we're given an exponential model and asked to interpret it and then also use it to make predictions. We have two goals in this example. The model we're given is that the population in the US has grown according to this exponential model. And this fits this kind of exponential model, that p sub t equals p sub zero e to the rt, where p sub t is the population at any point in time, p sub zero is the initial population, r is the growth rate, and t is the number of years since that initial point. So we're told that this model is since 1930, so 1930 is year zero, according to this model. Matching up the general exponential model with the example we're given, we see that p sub zero is 123.1, which means that in 1930, the population was just over 123 million people. And we notice that r is 0 0.01217, or about 1.2%. So growth rate since 1930 has been about 1.2%. The second thing we're asked to do is to predict the population in 2000 using this model. So we'll take this model and let t equal 70 because we're predicting 70 years after the initial point, after 1930. Plugging in 70 then for t. Now all we need to do is calculate this right hand side. I'll calculate the exponent first 0 0.01217 times 70 and then I'll raise e to that power and then multiply that answer times 123.1 therefore this model predicts that in the year 2000 the US population would be about 288 and a half million people by the way, in 2000, the actual population in the US was 282.2 million. So the exponential model overestimated by a little bit, but not by that much considering how far forward it was making a prediction. Because in general, the further forward that we project, the more error is introduced into our model. So all things considered, this model did fairly well at predicting the population in the year 2000.